I connect and then I write LED on and as you can see the LED is turned on and if I write LED off it is turned off okay create a new project in Cube by DE and I'll be using the F756ZG as you can see over here I've only connected the USB cable and the Ethernet cable to it and that's it so enable the oscillator then the serial wire and then the Ethernet enable the RMII interface I've already shown you how to go through this in one of my previous videos so just check it out and uh, enable the interrupt also enable the UART for debug purposes asynchronous and the PA, PD8 and PD9 is directly connected to the ST-Link port and also enable the PG11, PG13 for Ethernet because the CubeMX doesn't enable them doesn't enable the Ethernet module correctly now enable a user LED for instance PB7 and that's pretty much it go to project manager and and generate the project as with Cnake because I'm using VS Code alright now I'll open the project in VS Code and I'll simply enable the basic functionality in Mongoose now we simply need to enable a TCP listening connection in order to configure it as a server. So I write here ng listen, then the address of the manager, then the URL which should be TCP, for instance, I write o, o. o on port 80, then the function handler, and then pass null because it's no longer need any uh, additional parameter so I write over here the handler now the way the event handler works is that in the main loop I write the ng ngr poll which is which is constantly looking for a certain event related to networking so I write here ngr 100 and on a certain event is detected it will pass that event to that event handler so let me show you the events that are available in this library so if i go to page uh, no page to line number okay these are the events and so since we're using a tcp server we will only need the mg event open mg event connect and mg event read open it's when the connection with the client is created when mg event connect is called and the connection when the tcp connection is established and mg event read is when is triggered when the server receives receives data i write a code according to these events in the event handler so i'll go into event handler over here So I'm just printing the specific event according to the function trigger. Now in the event read, this is how we will read the data. Basically, this is how Mongoose works. We have a TX buffer and an RX buffer. And whenever we send the data, we have to first store the data inside that TX buffer and then it is sent over the network. So I will just echo back the data. But before that, I will simply send ng send c data from client and then I simply send back the receipt data like this c buff c length and after that we have to set the length to zero in order to indicate mongoose that 
we have consumed the data. So I write C and equal to zero. Actually, I have to pass the length over here. 19. All right. Now I'll simply build a program. I need to add the millis function. So I write here like this because the mongoose must keep track of the time passed and that's it let's build the program now i'll open hercules and i'll also flash the program so run task and click flash project actually i need to enable the right function as well so um, i need to go to syscalls and copy this function inside the main.c otherwise i won't get anything on the terminal now let's flash it again terminal run task flash project i'll open the real term all right And it's working perfectly fine. This is the IP of the board. So I'll open Hercules now to see if the server actually works. So I write here Hercules. I go to TCP client. I input the IP of the board, then the port. As you can see, the port is 80, so I need, I need to change it to 80. Now I'll connect. Now I'll send, he sent, I don't know, uh, hello there, click send, and as you can see, the board receives the message and it echoes back the message. Now, let's simply control an LED based on the received data. So I go again into the handler. Let's flash the program build terminal run task flash project now i'll open hercules again go to tcp client connect actually i forgot something i need to change here so i write ed on as well as I need to add the object, I need to add the length of the compared characters. So I'm like here seven, seven here as well. So let's let's flash it again, and I get an error. Str n compare. Yep. Build it. Flash it. Now I open Hercules again. I'll connect the board and I write LED on. Yeah, another mistake I have to write here the zero value in order to count it as equal. So I'll flash it again. I'll open Hercules. I connect and then I write LED. On. and as you can see the LED is turned on and if I write LED off it is turned off that's it for today's video